Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Upstate Speed Tests. And uh, look what I found. More Verizon low band DSS 5G right across from Wilson Medical Center, which is, uh, as you saw in the last video on this uh, small cell right here, this small cell, like I mentioned in the previous video, used to be located right next to where that steel is going up and Verizon kind of had no choice but to move it, uh, to move it over to its new location. And man, I tell you what, that hospital is going up fast. That first three or four stories of steel you see there went up in about a week and a half. That's crazy impressive. Anyway, so all of a sudden, just in the last couple of days, probably less than a week, this small cell has started putting out low band 5G and uh, let's give it a speed test and see what it looks like. That's pretty impressive. That's not bad at all. If I had a guess, this is probably band five or uh, 66. I can't imagine that that small cell, uh, well, it's probably putting out CBRS because if you notice, as we top out around close to 50 up here, 49 millisecond ping, just okay, loaded uh, ping times, eight millisecond jitter. As we, uh, mention the speeds and the bands that little white box hanging off the bottom and again i'm sorry if the quality is not great this is an ipad pro i'm recording on that little white box on the bottom there is uh cbrs uh so let me go into field test mode real quick and see and see if it uh will tell us what we're working with here serving cell info well, okay, so we got band 2, 20 megahertz, 5G non-standalone. Uh, so, wow, okay. So they moved band 2 to 5G on this uh, site here, it looks like. And we got 10 megahertz of uh, band 5, non-standalone, of course. Uh, all right, and then T-Mobile, serving cell info, 15 megahertz of band 66. Take all this with a grain of salt. The iPhone's field test mode is not very reliable. Um, yeah, so really decent results on Verizon 5G low band. Um, just as I was pulling away, I decided to run the speed test on my iPad Pro, and holy cow, the iPad doesn't have a field test mode where I can see what this is connected to, but it's gotta be CBRS. I mean, look at those speeds, 415 down, and uh, 50 on the up, that's competitive with T-Mobile's N41 in the area uh, using what I assume is low band and or CBRS. So that's incredible. And granted, the iPad has a little bit bigger or better of an antenna system, if you will, than the phone, but crazy good results. Uh, let me switch this over to T-Mobile. I don't want you all to see my... Uh phone numbers here. So let me switch it over to T-Mobile. I'll refresh the speed test app while I'm working on it. You guys can uh, watch the crane in action, although I think they literally just stopped for the night. All right, we are connected to N41. T-Mobile, uh, you can no longer see the site because of the steel work here, but there's a smokestack for the hospital directly behind it that has uh, a modernized Sprint site uh, converted to T-Mobile uh, with N41 and all new gear on it. So for the download, we're gonna get 539, 59 millisecond ping. Loaded ping times are all right. And uh, one millisecond jitter with about almost 80 on the upload side, 76 up. So very respectable. All right, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Links to support the channel are down in the description. Uh, everything I do on YouTube is only possible through the generous support of my uh, Patreon supporters and uh, other contributors to the channel. So thanks a lot, guys. Have a great uh, Thursday afternoon, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.